Hey everyone, so today I'm going to discuss with you the solution to this question. So this question was and came in the gate examination of 2022. So here we have to find the rate of change. Rate of change means what derivative. That's the first thing of a function. Now the function is in three variable x, y, z. So obviously the derivative means either the partial derivatives or the directional derivatives. Okay. At the point p0, what is p0? 2 minus 1, 0 in the direction from p0 to p1. Okay. So now obviously here, since we have more than one variable, so rate of change means we have to find the directional derivative. Now, what is the formula for directional derivative? So, well, there is a formula in terms of uh, uh, in rate of in, in terms of ratio of the change in increments, but we are not going to use that definition. Why? Because here if you observe your function f is uh, is partial derivative exist and they are continuous. That means what the given function is a differentiable function. And whenever the given function is differentiable, directional derivative can always be written in terms of dot product. Okay. So what I want to say is the theorem says that the directional derivative of f in the direction u at the point p naught is given by grad f at the point p naught dot product with the direction vector. Okay, so this is the theorem that we can use whenever the function is a differentiable function. Okay, now here what is grad f? It is f with respect to x, f with respect to y and f with respect to z. So what is f with respect to y? It is 1 plus cosine of z comma with respect to y it is minus of sine z plus 1 and with respect to z it is minus x of sine z minus y of cos z okay and now what is grad f at p naught so wherever you have x y z you replace it by 2 minus 1 and 0 so cos 0 is 1 so this is 2 sine 0 is 0 so this is 1 sine 0 is 0 cos 0 is 1 and y is minus 1 so this becomes 1 so this is my gradient vector now question is what is the direction vector okay so i have to go from p0 to p1 okay so what is p0 p1 if i want to find the direction for this what i will do op1 minus op0 right so what is this this point minus this so 0 minus 2 1 minus minus plus so that is also 2 2 minus 0 okay so minus 2 2 and 2 Okay, so this is minus 2, 2 and 2. Please cross check the calculation. Okay, now is this a unit vector? No. So you first find the length of this and you divide by the length so that it becomes a unit vector. So this is 4 plus 4 plus 4, which is nothing but root 12, which is nothing but 2 root of 3. So therefore, your unit vector, you divide this by 2 root 3. So you have minus 1 by root 3, 1 by root 3, and 1 by root 3. So this is the direction vector which is a unit vector and therefore directional derivative of f at point p0 in the direction u is given by the dot product. So what is the grad f? 2 1 1. Okay so your grad f is 2 1 1. So 2 into minus 1 by root 3 plus 1 into 1 by root 3. What is that? Minus 2 sorry 2 1 1. So 2 1 1 plus 1 by root 3. So here you can see the answer is 0. So I hope this is clear. If you have any doubt or if you find any calculation mistake, you can comment in the comment section. Thank you.